Because first of all, you're not getting a woman that's compatible with you. You're not, you're not getting a woman that's on the same page as you are on. You're just getting a woman that, that's of the same race. She, but her, her skin color is not a reflection of her mindset. The way she sees life, the world, and everything around her is fundamentally different. And as soon as you recognize that, the better off you will be. And I'm not telling you don't mess with them. I don't care what you do. I'm just telling you that you're going to have to realize at some point that if you want a long-lasting relationship, you're going to have to find somebody that sees the world as you do, that respects you as a man, that respects your mind, that when you talk, they listen. She is never going to be that way. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Let me tell you something that nobody has ever pieced together. Our problem with black women is the system. The black woman is married to this system. That's the problem that y'all don't understand. When y'all ask, is she marriageable, you are missing the fact that she is already married. She is married to the system. And she is married to the figureheads of the system, which are white people, white men, on the conservative side and white liberal females on the other side. She's married to both. That's why she's so confusing. That's why when they cross over and get a white boy is oftentimes the most racist white boy they can find. At the same time, they have the talking points from all the feminists over here on the other side. That's why they seem like they just, they all over the place. Like I said in the video I stopped, it's like talking to a person with, with several heads and several individual personalities. So when you ask, are they marriageable? You have the first factor in the fact that they are already married. That they are married to this system. That they are married to the white man. That they are married to the white female. That they are married to feminism. That they are married to American culture. They are already married. You will always be second in her world. Always be second. And again, this is not a bad sister video. This is not that this is not a hate sister video. I'm just telling you that this is something I recognized on my own journey. And the day I woke up and realized that, I just said, you know what? I'm not gonna end up with a black woman. Because that why do you think no matter what we tell them, they won't change? Why do you think no matter what we say we like, they don't care? They do what they like. And it's not so much what they like. Opposing us makes their, their, their leaders happy. Opposing us makes their guards happy. Why do you think this bonnet thing caught on? What woman in her right mind walks around the damn bonnet? Man, that thing is not cute. But you know what happened? The second black men started talking about we don't like it, it took off. All of them wants to wear it now. Now you got sisters with pretty hair. You can see the bonnets puffed up with all their natural dreads and all this. One sister had dreads, got natural dreads in the bonnet. She took her brick dreads, balled them up and put them in the bonnet and walked outside. That is in defiance of you, my brother. That's all it is. That is in defiance of you. You tell her you don't like it, she's gonna do it. You tell her you like it, she's gonna stop doing it. You tell her go up, she's going to go down. You tell her go down, she's going to go up. This is how they are hardwired right now. You are talking about five, six generations of a slow and steady covert social operation to change them. It only takes one generation to change the culture of a people. And they've been under attack for about 50, 60 years. And now we got the red pill that's trying to do to black men exactly the same thing that feminism did to black women. 
Now black men are being indoctrinated by Ipmore and Red Pill and all this stuff, and y'all crazy. You do sit around here and talk all this conservative stuff, I'm going to vote for Trump, vote for Trump, and then you get mad at anybody who got a white wife. Oh man, you supposed to have a black woman, I don't like you. Bro, you ain't going to get no black woman. You are a conservative. How many black women vote conservative? I'll wait. I'll wait. You not gonna get no black woman. They are married to the Democrat party because that's where the female leaders are. That's where the feminists are. And, and the feminist thing you gotta understand is led by rogue, man-hating, bitter, angry, uh, uh, atheist, homosexual females who are also racist. So the black woman is in league with a woman that can't stand her. Can't stand her for several reasons. Can't stand her. But she won't abandon these people. She'll cry to them. Every time the feminists let the sisters down, they come out in articles and, you see, when we need some, y'all not there for us. But y'all won't, but they still won't abandon them. They still won't abandon them. And then they co-op anything that we try to do. Brothers get shot down the street. Sisters come out, get on the front line, start things like Black Lives Matter and steal all the money and run off. This is what we're dealing with. Because fundamentally, they don't want to change this system. They have never had a problem with this system. They like this system because what they really want is to be with them people. Not so much physically. Not so much physically, but idealistically. Physically, you do have some that wants to be over there. Physically, you got some black men that wants to be over there. But when the black men realize they can't do that, they come back and try to talk to us the same thing as sisters do. But they still are not as loyal to this system as are black women. Because they, we are tired. We see that there's nothing in this system for us. We see that every, every turn, there's another obstacle trying to hold us back. And that's why the, 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 the system don't mind people like Dr. Boyce Watkins. They don't mind people like Dr. Umar Johnson. They don't, they don't mind people like uh, 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 this dude on, 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 on a radio show, uh, Charlemagne the God and stuff. They don't mind people like this because these people keep us in the matrix. And while dudes like y'all coming at me talking about, oh man, men like you keep us in a major because you, 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 you talking on behalf of what I don't, I, I'm not a woman's advocate, man. I'm a truth advocate. Sometimes women say stuff that's true. Sometimes women say stuff that's not true. I'm going to just call it down the middle. But on this Man Talk Monday, it was important that I explain why I wholeheartedly believe you should consider opening up your options of dating. Instead of sitting around, being all purple-pilled, talking about you red pill, but you want to take black women, them over the head, and reinsert them back into the matrix under some type of uh, 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 brainwashing where, they, where they'll act like a stepper wife or something. That's what you want. You know what I'm saying? That's really what you want. You want to be reinserted back into the matrix with that black woman, but you want her acting a certain way that benefit you. She ain't going to do that. She's not going to be that person. And what you want is not going to happen. And you wanting that says a lot about you because you should be just saying, hell, it is what it is. I'm walking. I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going my own way. That's really what you should do. But you're not doing that. You, What you want is to force her back in line. But that woman don't respect you like that, bro. If they respected us, they would do what we asked them to do. If they respected us, they would wear their own hair. They wouldn't put these balloons in their butt. They wouldn't chop on their faces like that. They wouldn't paint, paint themselves over like that, make themselves like, like men in, in, in makeup. They wouldn't do these things to themselves if they respected us. They don't respect us. So the only kind of man that's gonna end up with one of them is one that settles. It's one that just makes the compromise. And that's why they walk on so many brothers. Y'all talk about the divorce rate. This is why they walk. Because first of all, you're not getting a woman that's compatible with you. You're not, you're not getting a woman that's on the same page as you are on. You're just getting a woman that, that's of the same race. But her, her skin color is not a reflection of her mindset. The way she sees life the world and everything around her is fundamentally different. 
And as soon as you recognize that, the better off you will be. And I'm not telling you don't mess with them. I don't care what you do. I'm just telling you that you're gonna have to realize at some point that if you want a long lasting relationship, you're gonna have to find somebody that sees the world as you do, that respect you as a man, that respects your mind, that when you talk, they listen. She is never gonna be that way. She's never going to be that way for you. She ain't doing it. I'm sorry, she's not doing it. Even a few sisters that come through my page that, 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 you know, that like me and stuff, you know what I'm saying? They, they disagree if I say certain things because they are hardwired like that. They have been duped. They're not bad. And on the conscious level, they don't even dislike you. They love you. On, on the conscious level, they thinking they love you, but the problem is a lot of times we act upon subconscious thoughts. That's why when they embed something deep into your mind, you act upon it without even knowing you're acting upon it. Because you got to consciously think to not act upon it. But we are not we are not created to consciously think about every little thing we do. A lot of what we do, we just do by instinct. So when they embed this stuff into your instincts, you act upon it without even knowing. Our sisters have just acted upon in a programming without even being aware that they acted upon it. So you can help them. I mean, I advise you to try to help them. But while you help them, you need to understand what you're dealing with. So if you want a real long lasting relationship, my advice is to go elsewhere because she's not gonna be it. When I had my polygynous family, every woman was black except for the one that's still here. Every woman on the second level was black. Everyone on the third level was black. And the only one that I was more compatible with was the woman that grew up in a whole nother country, a different continent, under a different way of life, but yet me and her are exactly the same. Why? Because fundamentally, she, she is controlled by her nature. And I am controlled by my nature. Since God, Allah, Jehovah, Yah, whatever you want to call your creator is all one creator. Since Allah is our, is our focal point, we have balance. So we don't have those problems. But all the other things, here's the weird thing. Guess where I met her at? Everybody else I met out and about, you know, poetry spots, you know, this and that, right? I met her in the masjid. Point me. I met her in the masjid. She's the only one I met in the masjid, and she's the only one that's still here. Because fundamentally at her core, she was a certain type of person that just fell in line with the kind of person I am. The rest weren't. They were not. Why is it that the only woman that's still here is, is the non-black woman? It's the non-American woman. That's not a coincidence. That's not a coincidence. I'm telling you, and I'm talking about black women, but really American women in general. You need to beware of American women in general. Because the ones that you red pill dudes can deal with, they racist. You're not gonna be able to get them. The ones that 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 will treat you a certain way, they on a they, they on the social political right. You can hang that up. So the ones that you're left with <laughs> are on the social political left. Well, guess what? You can hang them up too, pretty much. If, if you're if you under that red pill, conservative type mindset, you can hang them up too. So I don't know why y'all purple peeling yourself because you ain't got nowhere you can go. You got nowhere you can go. If you think the way you think, you need to leave this stuff alone. You need to start seeking out women of other races and cultures, period. Point blank. Point blank. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you that, you know, I don't know if they marriageable or not, but all I know is that fundamentally speaking, you know, black American men has recognized for a long time that this system just not, they don't offer us nothing. They don't have nothing for us. You listen to Dr. T. L. Sign Johnson cry all day about how black men are mistreated, black males are left behind, black males are excluded. They don't have nothing for us and the black women don't care. They don't care. That's the thing. They are loyal to this thing. They are loyal to that which is trying to kill you. I need you to think about that. And I'm gonna say it again. Our black American women are loyal to that which is trying to kill you. 
which is trying to destroy you, which is trying to demean you and diminish you and reject you and do anything they could negative to you at any given time. They are loyal to that. So how can she be loyal to that and be your ally at the same time? How can she? She used this system against you in a heartbeat. She was sick, she, what y'all call it, zaddy? She was, she was sick zaddy's system on you in a heartbeat. And sleep well while that system destroy your life. I got one of my children, mama, actually, one, all black women now, one of them actually tried to put me on paper. I mean, I'm balling out of control, paying for everything, and the girl still went down and tried to put a case on. Makes no sense. They will put that system on you and hope it destroy you and laugh as it destroys you. Won't shed a tear. I did a video talking about the, what kind of woman could do that to a man that she has a kid with. She is broken beyond repair. Y'all talk about meeting all these baby mamas and stuff, these women with children. Man, look, if she don't have a tight, tight, if she don't have a kind of relationship with her baby daddy that make you jealous, leave her alone. Because if she could want to see that man destroyed and she got children that look like him, that's deep. None of us think like that, bro, as men. We don't want to see nothing bad happen to these women, man. For the sake of the children. We just, we don't, we just don't think like that. We wouldn't sick a system on them if we could and watch it crumble them to dust. And we sit back and laugh. We wouldn't do that. We just wouldn't do it. But they would do it and laugh as it destroy you. I'm sorry. She, she is your enemy because she has been trained and reprogrammed to be your enemy. When she's in her conscious mind, she loves you. But like I said, most movements are not under the conscious mind. They are, they are habits. And when she falls back into habit, her habit is to oppose you. Her habit is to seek out a way to get over on you. Her habit is to seek out a way to reject you, to belittle you, to put you down. And if none of that works, she's going to seek that system on you. That's her habit. That's her default setting. You have to understand that, man. This is what you're dealing with. So when you talk about a relationship, how two or more people talk to, behave towards, and deal with each other, this is how she talked to you. This is how she behaved towards you. And this is how she deals with you. So you tell me, can you ever really find yourself in a serious relationship with a woman that supports a system that opposes you at every turn? So brothers, y'all gotta think about that, I, I, you know, you make your own minds up, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you make your own decisions. I, I'm not telling they hate you because I don't believe they do hate you. But that's when they're thinking. That's when they are weak. But 90% of their day, they're under a trance. And once they fall under that trance, you, 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 you got to watch out. There's no telling what she might do to you at any given time. Like I said, I had a girl try to put a case on me, man. We balling. I mean, we was doing super well. We was clearing after paying all employees almost 250,000. That's after all inventory, all employees, everything clearing about 250. And she go try to put a charge on me. Out of spite. Not because she needed me to, to give her money. Not, I gave her whatever she wanted. She still did it. I'm telling you, when you got the, and, and right now you talk to her, she is completely delusional. She'll tell it like I never did nothing for the child, or he wasn't there, he never paid for nothing. And I mean, she is completely delusional. That brainwashing that they are under is serious. I'm not saying they're your enemy, but I am telling you that they are under a serious spell, one in which you need to protect yourself from. Now, you do what you want to do with that information. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Till next time, Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. I'm out of here. Salam.